we have covered the rules of the game and identifying and choosing the important elements of an image for described image item type. If you haven't watched these videos in this series, I suggest you watch them before going further. The links are in the description. In this video, I will explain how to speak impromptu and present, and present the important elements that you have identified to get perfect score for this item type. In relation to described image item type, the reason most people uh, struggle to speak impromptu is because they either are not sure of what elements and in what order to describe those elements, or they do not have the lexical resources to effectively communicate their ideas. We have covered the former. So if you're watching this video, all you need is practice. With regards to the latter, the answer is simple. You need to build up English skills such as vocabulary and syntax to be able to efficiently communicate your ideas. The question is, what is the quickest and most efficient way to go about this? Well, I'm going to describe a foolproof strategy that will help you build up English communicative skills uh, that will help you not just for this item type, but for all the other item types in PT as well. It will require hard work, but the end results will be worth much more the price you pay in terms of the amount of hard work you put in. However, let's start with the easy bits. It's easier to speak impromptu if you know how to structure your speech. For describe image, it is very much like an essay. Your speech should have an introduction, body and conclusion. Introduction is where you describe what kind of image is displayed and what kind of information it provides. Body is where you describe the most important elements of the image. You devote to uh, no more than one sentence per element as you have just 40 seconds to give your response. You keep your description as concise as possible and only use short sentences. Conclusion is where you give the most obvious trend or whatever conclusion can be clearly derived from the trends and data that the image depicts. Your conclusion should be no longer than one short sentence. Now the kind of images that you will have to describe is easily predictable. So you know what kind of charts, processes, tables or maps you will get. The kind of information that these charts or tables depict is uniform and require a particular set of vocabulary and phrases. In our article, Vocabulary and Phrases for Described Image, the link to which is in the description, we have provided English syntax that could be used to describe the various kind of information that these images may depict. Go to it, internalize the words and phrases and practice using our practice questions and tests. Compare your answer with answer keys to see how these should be used ideally. Learn and improve your technique with every attempt. Well, as I always say, practice is is the key to one attempt PD success. Actually, no, perfect practice is the key to one attempt PD success. That is what we offer. Now, in our diamond program, I always suggest students that they prepare for the long speaking item types like described image and return lecture for the practice questions and tests by writing down their responses the best they can. This helps them identify and correct the common grammatical mistakes they make while communicating and subconsciously programs them to use correct English when actually giving their response impromptu. However, because of the hard work involved, I mean, nobody likes, nobody likes to write. Few follow this advice. The most remarkable student I've come across is Lucy Wong. Lucy is a very smart and hardworking girl. She had intermediate skills in English. Her vocabulary was decent, but she made errors with prepositions, articles, tenses, common mistakes non-native speakers make. She was quick to realize how our coaching program could help her. She did the assignments 
and practice the speaking item types as I suggested. And with that, and with dedication, her score in her first practice test was 58. Yesterday, I checked her sixth practice test and she had scored an extraordinary 82. The point is, do the hard work and you will reap the benefits 10 times more for the rest of your life over and above the PT test. Children do not begin to run as soon as they're born. First, they learn to sit, then crawl, then stand, then walk. And finally, when the legs are strong enough, they run and they run like boat. Similarly, at first, attempt to describe image questions without time limit and write down your answers best you can. Have it re reviewed by your tutor, who will help you identify common errors and correct them. Use the answer keys to further improve your responses. All our answer keys are very high quality and will get perfect scores in the actual PT test. Use them to understand how the author selected the various elements to describe and the variety of syntax used to describe the image. Try and apply the same reasoning to your answers. You will see significant improvement after you have uh, solved 10 such questions by writing. And not just for this item type, for other item types as well. That is it for this video. Do go through our blogs. They contain more do's and do nots for this item type. The links to these and other important resources is provided in the description of this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe and support us by enrolling in one of our PT preparation courses that you need for one at PT success. If you have any further questions, please get in touch by any means given on our contact page. Thank you and goodbye for now.